had this horrible uh, ticking noise when I used to drive along and uh, actually pulled the dash apart because I couldn't find it. It just used to rattle. Um, and then over time, so when I say over time, probably over about 12 months, every now and then it, it progressively got worse. But I never actually correlated the pulsing of the, uh, the speedo cable with the ticking noise. And it wasn't until it got really bad and it used to start get, like it actually made like a like a um, almost like a screech noise that I realised, hey, it's probably the, th the throttle cable because it's um, doing it in line with the uh, the sorry the speedo cable because it's doing the, it's making noise in line with its pulsing, and it could pulse like when I say pulse, it could it could easily jump 20, 30 kilometres an hour up and down. Uh, it got that bad that I was actually relying on HEMA, my uh, map tool it actually has a speed in the bottom corner of the uh, app to actually tell me how fast I thought I was going. Not that, I, not that you can really go fast in these old cruises, but uh, it turns out um, that it was a speedo cable. So I bought a new one. So I went to the guys at Burson's and bought a new one. Uh, and then... But I also, at the same time, this particular model has cruise control fitted, and I just had intermittent problems with, with cruise control. Like, it just was really, really unreliable. It'd stop. When I say stop, it'd stop working. Um, sometimes it'd come on, sometimes it wouldn't. So it's like a bad earth or a bad wiring loom or something. And it had some Frankenstein stuff happening on the loom anyway that I'll do a video on once I've fit, <laughs> worked out what's wrong with it. Um, but... Uh, Yes, yeah, so when I was pulling the cruise control out, I noticed that there's actually a the cruise control unit actually plugs into the throttle cable line, which is quite cool. Um, not throttle cable, speedo cable. Uh, so what I so rather than having to try and either pull the dash apart to actually take the back off the speedo cable. Uh, and then obviously get in under the truck and it's, it's pretty easy to access in under the truck right off the side of the transmission there back towards the uh, transfer case. Um, rather than trying to pull it all off and put it all on, I just thought I'm going to give it one go at greasing it. And I thought, how am I going to grease something like this? And I'll show you. You may remember my good buddy, dielectric grease from when I was doing my... Uh, seal restore rubber seal restore um just a good product to have anyway um but i actually initially bought it for when i rebuilt the starter motor so i had to rebuild the contacts inside the starter motor but again a really simple quick thing um just a jerk of a thing to get out but uh yeah so i had this dielectric grease floating around and look, there's probably going to be a bunch of people say it's the wrong product and it's this and it's that and blah 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 and i should have used white lithium and yeah yeah, yeah. could have done plenty of things um but all i wanted to do is stop this because it was driving me nuts it was actually at the point where i wanted to disconnect the speedo I've, and that's not great um but it was horrible so and noisy unreliable couldn't work out how fast i was going which isn't really that much of an issue but in australia we have 40 kilometer an hour zones past schools and i use the old cruiser as you know i do have another car but i prefer to drive this one because you actually get to drive it um but yeah so a little bit of dielectric grease now i didn't i got really lucky i didn't actually have to that's the speedo cable there that part there actually belongs to the video cruise control so you can see where it plugs in on top. So it actually gives me two access points into the speedo line and happy days. So basically all I did was unscrew. Oh geez, I've done it up tight. There we go. Unscrew that one. It separates. And I literally got the dielectric grease, poured it in there, let it sit, poured it, let it sit. Give it a twist, give it a twist, pour it, let it sit, pour it, let it sit. I probably did that for about 10 minutes it, until it disappeared down the throttle line, uh, speedo line. And then with the top one, it just did exactly the same thing. But what, did I, what I ended up doing was, so obviously remove that part there, laid a heap of rags in the floor wheel of the car, and then just kept squirting it up in there. <laughs> And as you saw at the start, I mean, it's got a little bit of a pulse, but all good. So 
I'll probably go and get, I'll probably, it's probably not going to last very long. And I think that's going to be the thing with the dielectric grease. It's not going to be a forever fix. But, uh, you know, for something that was looking like, like I said, pull the dash apart, you know, replace a cable, blah, 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 you know, for a little bit of grease. She's all good. So, good on you, Pa. Thanks for fitting the cruise control because you gave me really, really easy access into the Speedo cable because you can't get your hand up in there. Um, yeah, I've read a few forums. I reckon, this guys reckons you can, you know, if you get yourself in a certain position, you might be able to get your hand up in there. <laughs> you know, again, I'd end up with the fire brigade trying to cut me out. So, um, yeah, very, very easy, simple solution to a very, very noisy speedo and i think you know i open i open with the uh, speedo there is a little bit of a wobble in it um there is a little bit of a wobble in it but quick simple easy two minute job and for the most part noise is gone so if you're lucky enough to get a <laughs> cruise control you can that's uh, sorry a land cruiser with cruise control has got a horribly noisy speedo you might be able to just simply fix it yourself. Cool. See you guys.